Shortly after the turn of the century, America found itself in not one, but two wars. And now, nearly 14 years later, a promise to conflict-weary U.S. forces from their commander-in-chief. I will not commit you and the rest of our armed forces to fighting another ground war in Iraq. After a decade of massive ground deployments, it is more effective to use our unique capabilities in support of partners on the ground so they can secure their own country's futures. President Obama spoke at MacDill Air Force Base Wednesday after a briefing at U.S. Central Command on his counterterrorism strategy to degrade and ultimately destroy the Islamic State militant group. That strategy, which the president unveiled a week ago in a nationwide address, focuses on building a broad coalition and expanding the air campaign against the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. The president's reaffirmation to not embark on a second combat mission in Iraq came after the chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Martin Dempsey, made headlines during Testimony Tuesday to U.S. lawmakers. If there are threats to the United States, then I, of course, would go back to the president and make a recommendation that may include the use of U.S. military ground forces. President Obama repeated Wednesday the United States would not send forces into direct combat and also would not go it alone. He added that the U.S. will lead differently, but still lead, as the world is confronted with different challenges, from the Islamic State to the Ebola outbreak. If there is a need for a rescue mission, when the world is threatened, when the world needs help, it calls on America. Even the countries that complain about America, <laughs> when they need help, who do they call? They call us. A call President Obama answered this week as he dispatched 3,000 U.S. troops to Western Africa to try and stem the deadly Ebola outbreak. Arup Hande, VOA News, the White House.